Tierra here with Gypsy Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. I am finally getting around to the fourth and final fragrance in the Brambleberry Enchanted Garden Collection, and that is the Willow and Ivy. I knew for this soap I wanted to do another tree design. <laughs> that I, I've done a couple of them before, it's a lot of work. But I knew I wanted that to have some sort of tree inside of it. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get started by pouring up a loaf of soap that I will come back tomorrow after 24 hours and cut it up and shape it into what will hopefully look like some tree trunk embeds. So combining my lye and my oils here. So to make the tree embeds, I'm going to split a little bit of this off into the little cup and we're going to color this in some browns. I've got an elemental earth here, which is a soapbox mica colorant. Still trying to use up those. A little bit left in there. And then into the little guy, I'm going to add some magic mushroom and that is by Nurture Soap just to give it a little bit of a grain texture or look swirl to it. Give it a little bit of a realistic tree trunk going on. Let's mix each one of them in. In goes our fragrance, which has notes of bergamot, ivy, willow, cassis, violet, and musk. And it says it does not discolor and it behaves well in cold process. So let's hand stir that in. I'll do a little in the pot swirl and then we'll just pour this into the loaf mold. Let it sit for 24 hours and then I will come back and make a mess and butcher it until it looks like a tree trunk. Day two and back to make the rest of the soap. So for this base layer, I am going to color it in. This is a blue slushy mica.
All right, so going on top of the soap, I saved some of those green shreds to sprinkle on top. I've got all these teeny tiny soap dough leaves. And then I have some pieces of soap dough that I hope look like branches. So when I cut all that extra tree trunk off of those columns and I had that extra soap dough, I just threw it in a clay extruder and hoping they look like branches. So there'll be one on each side and then we'll put a leaf on each side and then we'll sprinkle on some of those branches. And that will be the top of the soap. I feel like today is not, it's just not the day to soap. My icing got all funky and clumpy on me, which is really weird, and the dog next door won't stop barking, so I'll apologize if you can hear that. I've waited as long as I can for him to stop. <laughs> and then my camera just decided to stop recording on me. But I think I figured out the reason why it is doing that, and it was the memory card. Every time I used a specific memory card, that's when it stopped recording on me. So that one's going in the trash, we're getting a new one, and hopefully that solves the problem. But before I was so rudely interrupted, <laughs> I was telling you guys about that blue slushy mica. The reason why I chose the blue was because I wanted it to look like either the sky that you would see through the leaves in the background, or it could represent water. Every time I think of a willow, I think of rivers, or like Grandmother Willow from Pocahontas. <laughs> so that was my reasoning behind the blue. And I think I messed up that bottom layer of no confetti shreds or leaf shreds in the bottom, but it'll be fine because, you know, willows often drape down into like the, the water and stuff so it'll it'll play out I did it on purpose you guys <laughs> all right so sticking each one of these little branches on here so a lot of work all of these little embeds that I made and then all of the um, little pieces that have to go into the soap it's very very intricate but I have been having a lot of fun with soap dough recently a lot of the soaps that you're gonna see all have soap dough on them and it's a nice way to use leftover soap if you ever have any and it also helps creatively creatively come up with some different designs for soaps if you ever get like stuck in a rut right, good with that one I was also thinking about this color blue slushy it reminded me of something I ate recently and I think anything reminds me of things that I've eaten or want to eat being pregnant, I found something that kind of ruined me. <laughs> Summer is all about ice cream and snowballs. That is typically when I start eating that kind of stuff. But I find being pregnant that I use, an ex use it as an excuse to eat anything that I want. And typically in this house, we try to monitor how much we eat out. We don't eat fast food. And I don't keep a lot of bread in the house and I make you know, homemade meals. Well, like I said, being pregnant, I am just going to eat whatever I want. <laughs> and that is what I am doing. So my friend Amy posted on her Instagram story a picture of a Dairy Queen cotton candy coated ice cream. I have never had Dairy Queen. It never interests me. Not really one around me. Whoops. But when I saw that, I was like, yep, gotta have it. <laughs> and so I was sitting there with my dad and stepmother at dinner and they're like, why don't we just go down the street? There's a Dairy Queen. You guys, have to try this cotton candy coated ice cream because my, my stepmother loves Dairy Queen apparently and I've just been missing out but I was so full from dinner and it didn't even matter we went to Dairy Queen and got this and oh my god it was divine it was sinfully good and I think I'm hooked now I want to go back to Dairy Queen and try all the different flavors <laughs> 
but I really am eating anything I want and it's so bad I'm gonna regret it later. Current cravings are waffles with lots of fruit, have to have butter and syrup on them. And I, um, I love cereal with uh, like bananas in it. I don't know, it's just like I want all the carbs right now. So bad, so bad. I, I at least try and get the healthy kinds of cereal like the uh, Kashi or Nature's Path. Right now and then I'll treat myself to the sugary stuff. Trying to still behave. I just love all the carbs right now. It's crazy. Cravings are a real thing when you're pregnant. They really are. And then I kind of use it as a, a way to get around eating anything I want. All right. I'm gonna sit here and stick all of these little leaves on here. Throw in some soapy shreds, maybe a little glitter. I'll give it a spray with the rubbing alcohol. And then I will bring you guys back after 24 hours when I go to cut it. All right, super nervous and super excited to see how this one turned out on the inside. I can kind of get a little sneak peek from that end piece. But let's see if we got a tree. I think we did. Look at that. I like it. I really like how the inside of that tree looks like it has a wood grain to it. That's really cool. And then the top, of course, where it's all green is supposed to represent the tree top. And then we got the aloe and the branches, and a lot of these green shreds are gonna fall off, <laughs> which is why I went a little crazy with them. But I like it. And then you can, of course you got all the green confetti in there to kind of look like the leaves of a weeping willow. Fun stuff. So happy I got around to making the soap finally. I knew it was gonna be the most intricate of the designs I had for that the, that fragrance collection, but finally got around to it. A lot of work. So cool, though. Got a couple more of these. Not too much going on in the inside. The tree trunk is really the only part that has any swirl in it, and the rest is just like the green confetti. It smells really good. I want to say this is my favorite of the collection, this ivy and willow scent. I think it's number one for me. It's really fresh smelling. If you guys would like to purchase this soap, it will be available on July 24th. I thank you guys so much, as always, for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, think about it. <laughs> I'd love to have you. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them for me in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. And I will smell you later.